I cannot determine if he's not working this kind of job. If he is a blue collar, no, 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 no. I cannot date a blue collar man. The question is, what are these women actually saying? I'm a from the Bible. Hello, friends. Welcome back to another video. This is the Open Bear TV. And today, actually, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button because today's topic, I must say, is going to be very interesting because it's going to be short but not too short today and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you can be able to post a new video and if you have any question put it in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching this video today we're going to talk about the social aspect of this country the united states and today's question is Whenever we hear women say, I don't want to date a man unless he's making $100,000 a year, or if he is not white, or if he's not black, or if he's not a certain type of color, or I don't want to date a man if he doesn't have a bachelor's or a master's or a PhD you know, degree, if he doesn't have any education. What does that actually mean in this time? Funny, I'm glad you asked. Because the Bible actually gave us an idea of what it means when people say those kind of things. Now, let me actually say first and foremost, this is a very common thing nowadays when women say, well, um, I am more educated, I have a bachelor's degree, I have a master's degree, da 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 da, da. and the guy he doesn't have any he doesn't make any effort to go to college, get a degree, and yada yada. And sometimes we find out even these women that have all these degrees, they got a bunch of debt, and the men who doesn't have that much degrees, they don't have debt at all. Not only that, the job that they are doing. Um, will always be needed. They could be plumber, they could be um, lawn mower uh, people, you know, cutting grass. They could be um, electricians. They could be a roofer. I mean, construction worker. You're still going to need these people however you like it or not. So, as I was actually studying the Bible, um, I found out many women without knowing it uh, because i don't think they actually know that from the bible but without knowing it they are calling men abominations yes this is what we are having right now this is one of the issues we are having right now and i'm gonna give you guys a little history before i actually go to the Bible, because I want you to understand what um, was happening during the time of um, the Nazis and the Jewish nation. What we're going to be looking at is the, the social aspect of the United States and see if what we are doing today what we are hearing today doesn't now it doesn't it's not exactly the same at the Holocaust, but let's see if we have the same sentiment. So we're gonna be looking at the time of the Jewish nation or the Hitler's time. So one of the way they actually looked at the Jewish people were as the inferior race. Uh, okay, so. What they looked at, oh, come on, where is it? Here. Um, here, we have, you know, the Nazi believed the idea about race shaped all aspects of every life, everyday life, and politics in Nazi 
and the Nazi embraced the false idea that Jews were a separate and inferior race. Not just that, um, they also believed that they had to protect Germans from inferior races. Not only that, they claim that the Jews were inferior to all other races. I guess I don't understand that part. So, what did they call them? They claimed the Jewish race was especially what? Dangerous and a parasitic race. I'm going to give you guys like a little idea what we're going to get to. They consider them a, a inferior race and Nazi racism led to the mass murder of 6 million Jews. The, Jew, the Nazi falsely claimed that Jews were an inferior race. Why do I bring this up? Well, I bring this up because um, because we have to understand that at this moment we are having a discussion on um, the uh, the discussion is not necessarily now we know in this country we have we always gonna have a not even a race discussion but like a skin color because I don't believe we have different races I believe we are the same race the human race but different skin colors but the discussion of today's time of our the contemporary discussion is not about white versus black, Hispanic, and yellow, and Indian, and not that at all. It's more of gender, men versus women, okay? There's only two genders, men and women, and, and also two sex. Now, the discussion is, the women are saying, especially in the black community, in the black community, they, they, they say they are now more educated. Now, it's not just black women. It's in the Western um, country, meaning in the U.S. and Canada mostly, you're going to find that. That, you know, women are now getting more education. That's what they believe. And women are, and women are now out earning men, which is totally false. And not only that, that they now are saying, as a woman, I am accomplished. I got my degrees. I don't know why they think getting a degree means accomplished, but okay. And so they say, I cannot date a man who doesn't make this amount of money, or I cannot date a man who doesn't make, who's not making this kind of education, or does have a master's or a bachelor's or a PhD. I cannot date a man if he's not working this kind of job. If he is a blue collar, no, 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 no. I cannot date a blue collar man. The question is, what are these women actually saying? I'm actually from the Bible. The same way the Nazis were saying that the Jews were an inferior race, in a sense, even though it's not the same exact thing, in a sense, the women are calling now the men in this time, more like an abomination. Because for the Nazis, the Jews were an abomination. They were a parasite. In today's time, in our social issue, it looks as though the women are saying that the men are now abominations. Don't take my word for it. Let's go to the Bible. I told you guys, I'm going to bring the Bible to you. This is a social dilemma we are actually facing, and we're going to talk about it. So, let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 43. This is the story of Joseph. Joseph and his brethren, after, you know, the, whenever they came, you know, whenever they came the first time to get food, Joseph got, I think, Reuben or Simeon into prison, and said they can bring the last one, Benjamin, they brought Benjamin, he let them go, he arrested them again. They proved that they had changed. He says, hey, I am Joseph's brother. Go tell my dad, Jacob, or Israel to come over here. I got a place for you and all that story. 43, 
Here is the issue we are facing with right now. The issue we are facing is in chapter 43 from verse number uh, 27. Actually, verse 26. Bible says, And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house and bowed before themselves to him on to, to, to the earth. And he asked them um, of their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom ye speak, is he yet alive? And they answered, Thy son, our father, is in good health, he is yet alive. And they bowed down their, their heads and made obedience. So this is when they actually brought Benjamin um, after the, he had arrested Reuben or Simeon. And he lifted up his hand and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and he said, Is this your younger brother of whom you speak? Yes. And Joseph made haste, for his bow did for his bow bow did yearn upon his brother, and he sought where to weep. And we can go on. In verse number thirty two. By oh, verse number thirty one. And he washed his face and went out and refreshed himself and said, Set on bread. And they sat on for him by himself, and for them by themselves, and for the Egyptians, which did eat with him, with eat with whom, with Joseph by themselves, because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews. Why? For it is what an abomination unto the Egyptians. Why? It, it here it only tells you it is an abomination to the Egyptians to eat with Hebrews. It didn't tell you why. But hold up. Wait a minute. We're gonna get there. So far, we understand. If I were to tell you at this point Many women are now calling men abomination because I just said, well, they just they just call them abomination. They wouldn't want to go out on a date with them. They wouldn't want to be around them. They don't want to talk to them. They would be like, whoa, come on, the open, the open girl TV. How could you say that these women are calling those men abomination? There is no ground for that. Well... This is where we're going to get the explanation as to why here, as to why the Egyptians would not eat bread with the Hebrews, right? We see that the Egyptians would not eat bread with the Hebrews, for this is an abomination unto the Egyptians. But why is it an abomination unto the Egyptians? I'm going to give you the answer again. Chapter 46. This is when the family now comes back with the father and everybody else. Let's go verse number 30. Verse number 30. Jacob and Joseph reunited. Right? That's, that's the father. And he sent Judah before him unto Joseph to direct his face unto Goshen. And they came into the land of Goshen. And Joseph made ready his chariot and went up to meet Israel his father to Goshen. And presented himself unto him, and he fell on his neck, and wept on his neck a good while. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Joseph said unto his brethren, and unto his father's house, I will go up, and show Pharaoh, and say unto him, My brethren and my father's house, which were in the land of Goshen, are come unto me. Now, this is key. And the men are shepherds. And the men are shepherds. For their trade had been to feed cattle, and they have brought their flocks and their herds and all that they have. And it shall come to pass, this is Jesus speaking, when Pharaoh shall call you and say, What is your what? Occupation. What is your what? Occupation. That ye shall say, Thy servant's trade has been with cattle from our youth even until now. And both we and also our fathers, 
that we may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is what? An abomination unto the Egyptians. What did they call the Hebrews? Abomination. Why? Because they are what? Occupation. Ladies, listen up. When you are saying, oh, this man is a blue collar. This man doesn't have a master's degree. This man has this and has that. He doesn't have this kind of so-called prestige because he doesn't have a master's or a PhD. Because of his occupation, you say, I cannot deal with a man like that. Ineffective, you are calling this man an abomination. Ha! Lord of mercy. I mentioned to you guys, today we're going to talk about the social aspect of this country. We have a war between men and women. Women are saying, well, I went to college. I got a degree. I have this. I have that. And the men are like, great. I have no debt. I have a job. I'm a plumber. I, I'm an electrician. I'm a construction worker. I work in the mine, the sewage. I'm a trash disposal person. Yet, to the women... Oh no, I don't I don't I don't date blue collar men because of your occupation. So to the men, whenever you hear a woman say, I cannot date a man who makes this amount of money, who doesn't make who's who's working this kind of job, understand this man in your mind, you should look at them as an Egyptian. Because Egyptians, they looked at the Hebrews as an abomination. Why? Because of their occupation. And no Hebrew would marry an Egyptian. Woo! Lord have mercy. But, guys, the same way the Nazis looked at the Jews as an inferior race, is the same way the women of today are looking at the men as an inferior gender. Why? Because the men are not going to college and getting those so-called high degrees. Because they are working blue-collar job. These women are actually, without knowing, they are calling these men abomination. Lord have mercy. But guys, I'm going to stop it right here. Like I said, I don't make the video too long. I'm going to stop it right here. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. And then, if you have any question, put it in the comment section down below. Until then, this was the Open Veil TV. Bye for now.